the first time I saw polar bears, it was like if I was daydreaming because it was so unreal that I was actually in the wild and not at the zoo or seeing a video on YouTube or National Geographic. To me, it was like a fantasy. My name is Luz. I am a student at Portland State University. So I come from a first generation immigrant family that basically came from, I would say, nothing to something here in the States. I don't remember how old I was uh, when I first heard, I guess, the word climate change or that topic being spoken of. I just remember when I switched into a school that was speaking English. I heard that word go around whenever we learn about like science. And growing up, I realized how much everything has changed, how many animals have gone extinct, how many forests are gone, and how much my siblings, like a lot of kids their age don't even go outside anymore. I just wanted to see it for myself, maybe help in one way or another. And I was fortunate enough to have a donor that gave an opportunity to a student to have this experience. So I was able to go up to Churchill with the director of the Oregon Zoo. Churchill is a town in western Hudson Bay known for the polar bears that basically walk into town and kind of just going through. That's part of their migration and how they get from point A to point B, basically for ice, for food, to survive. When you think of polar bears, you think of snow, uh, ice, at least that's what I think of. And in Churchill, it is normal to see a polar bear when there's no snow, but in mid-October, that's when it should be a winter wonderland. Being out there and seeing a polar bear rolling in mud and not snow and not having the temperatures being freezing cold, it was really like eye-opening to me. When I talk to my friends about climate change, half of them go straight to like animals and what it's doing to like animals that they really like and are actually going out there, you know, we need to do something about climate change. And then the other half is more like, yeah, I know climate change is a thing, and what can we do about it though, you know? There are many populations of polar bears up in the north, but the ones I got to see are the ones that are being most researched and most known about. Sea ice is really important for the polar bears because they need that to be able to get their food source. They need that to get the seals that make up what they are, like all their fat that they have. They need that to stay warm. They need that, you know, to have the energy to do anything. Well, the Earth's atmosphere is like a big blanket. And every time we burn fossil fuel, it just makes the blanket thicker and thicker. The warmer the oceans are getting, the harder it is for any new ice to form. And for the ice that's already there, it's getting too hot for it to stay there. We all have things that we want to see in the future. What I think of is the future of my siblings. Like, what are they going to see in the future? Are they going to be able to see all these trees that are out here? Are they going to be able to see a polar bear? The last day we were there, it finally snowed. Basically everyone's going crazy, like, there's snow, there's snow, kind of like we've never seen snow before. <laughs> it kind of felt like, you know, you wake up Christmas morning and it's like a, a snowy, white Christmas. I think it gave me a little bit of hope. There's still time to change what's going on. I think the most important thing that you can do is talking about it, making it a topic of discussion, because that's the only way things will really change and it does make a difference.